Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indexes. Uh, we're going to look at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to su uh, subscribe, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, uh, which we uh, upload uh, on a daily basis now. Um, so this is the forecast for 25th of uh, September 2022. And as you can see, the S&P 500 ran into resistance at the, this green line here, which is the 100 moving average. And the price level for this, if you basically put it up, is around 3,200. Um, so it was expected for buyers to enter the market at this uh, price level. Um, and I, at this point, I don't really think that we'll go lower from here. Uh, we'll, probably, we'll probably go and retest from now, go and test this support level at um, you know, resistant at the 50 moving average, which has 3,351. And then we'll see whether or not we'll head back down. However, this look was expected to be massive support. And as you can see, we rallied quite substantially. However, we gave back some of those gains. Um, and at the moment, we're trading at 3,236. Um, uh, Kibra probably entered the market at, at this point. Uh, however, a uh, less riskier move was is basically if we break these uh, moving averages here, uh, then we'll go and retest this level over here, which is 3,400. If that breaks, then that is an indication that will go much higher. I kind of do expect us, I do expect this to take quite some uh, some time it will probably take weeks from months for us to get back to the all-time highs at 3589 um, but at this moment 3200 seems to be the floor um, and uh, it will most likely take a lot of negative news in order for this market to go significantly uh, further down however if we were to break this and 200 uh, this 100 moving average we'll go all the way down to this level which is the 200 moving average of 3100 um, so the reason why for uh, this rally is, uh, rally is because we had the fang stocks and uh, or basically the tech stocks uh, did quite nicely we can see that we can see that Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, Netflix, Apple, Amazon, and uh, Facebook, Google, all of the big companies did really well. And when they do really well, well, then the S and P five hundred and the Nasdaq especially do really well. If you look at the technical indicators, we are still really far away from the signal line. So it'll probably take uh, three more trading sessions before we basically cross the signal line and that indicates a bullish momentum to the upside. We are at the edge of being oversold, but uh, RSI is pointed upwards. Uh, we have not crossed the signal line here at the, at the stochastic, but we are about to. Probably tomorrow's session will cross the signal line indicating that momentum is going to the upside. Uh, the Bollinger Band, we are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band at the moment, so we may go higher from here. But still, we have resistance at this level, at these three uh, moving averages at 3,349. So if we look at the Dow Jones, so we need to get, move these. So the Dow Jones also rallied quite substantially all the way up to this area here, which is as the 27,000, and then gave back a lot of its gain. It found support at this blue line, which is the 300 moving average. We also have the 100 moving average right underneath. So at this point, 26,537 is support. So at the moment, we're trading within this area. And we have additional resistance above of this, which is the three, 
the moving averages, the 50 uh, the moving average. So at this point, uh, we may go higher. We probably go all the way to these uh, three moving averages, but I don't expect us to break through anytime soon. Um, uh, we can see that uh, MACD is really negative. Uh, RSI is, is encouraging, but uh, and so is the uh, so is the stochastic, which shows that we are about to cross the signal line and go for upwards upwards momentum. But if we look at the weekly chart we still are really far away from uh, the bottom or any turnaround at whatsoever. So expect more downwards, just choppiness between these two, uh, averages. If we were to break down, then we have the 200 moving average here, and then we have the 150 moving average down all the way down here at the 25,000. So if we look at the NASDAQ, We didn't get all the way down to uh, to uh, previous lows at uh, ten thousand six hundred and seventy seven, but we got very close. We rallied, and that's mainly due to the the, the tech stock rallying. You see that uh, that um, Tesla rallied around two percent today. And we'll most likely also rally more tomorrow. If you look at the test line, which is here, we basically hit support and now we are technically rallying. However, the, the, the technical indicators for Tesla are quite bad, especially the weekly chart. If you look at the daily chart, uh, then it's also really bad. So we probably will run into resistance here. So sorry for that. It doesn't really look really good for Tesla. Uh, my mistake. So we'll just go back to the uh, the Nasdaq uh, because I don't expect Tesla to help the Nasdaq uh, tomorrow at least. Um, if you look at the technical indicator for Nasdaq, we can see that MACD is quite far away from the signal line and it's it's not showing any signs of turning the other way. Uh, we have uh, RSI here showing upwards momentum and we have the as the casting also showing that he's crossed the signal line, but it's quite, it's uh, technically flat at this point. So, well, we could go either way. Um, I do expect this market to go lower. Um, this was just such a in, uh, crazy rally that, that, that it would probably be good for this index if we fell lower. It would be, um, it would then be good value for money at this point. It's a massive risk just entering this market because it can crash to the downside all the way to the, to ten thousand, and it could try to bounce to the upside. But I do expect these three moving averages here to be absolutely. A nightmare to get through as we have previously tested several times the 50 moving average however if you short this market market you are betting against apple netflix uh, amazon facebook microsoft microsoft and so on google best companies in the world the richest most profitable companies in the world that's just a silly bet to make. So the best thing strategy here is just wait and see how far this market falls because this is an index that will go higher at some point. We crashed quite heavily in September due to this did this it was not a, it was expected uh, but we just got way up ahead of ourselves, and uh, at this moment, we're just uh, we're just um, uh, uh, getting some time in order to be ready to go to the upside again. This will go uh, to to all time highs within a few weeks, probably two months. But uh, but at this point, I do expect this market to at least go to this hundred moving average at. Uh, 10,500 level and in worst case scenario all the way down to 10,000. 
So uh, I will be all over this if we go down to 10,000 level. So I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button. And uh, good luck and happy trading. Thank you.